Hej, hej moi drodzy, witam w kolejnym odcinku z Wilk pośród nas. Robię teraz tak jak powiedziałem, to przynajmniej staram się robić je dużo szybciej, bo przygoda jest też coraz bardziej wkręcająca i mocniejsza, więc trudno mi się powstrzymać, powiem wam szczerze, przed nagraniem kolejnego odcinka, bo po prostu ja tutaj też czekam na kolejne. No, zacznijmy teraz czwarty epizod. Zobaczymy. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? No i tak to wyglądało. No dobra. Zaczynamy. We can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. My arm. Yes, very ugly, but not <laughs> life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Please, Big B, don't move it, Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. <laughs> But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Wow, no, to będzie mocne. Przygotujmy się na trzask kostek. Trzeba je dorobić. No właśnie, naprawdę zabolało. That'll do. You're probably better off. This way, I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. No, he's calling you. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. No, tak odpędź się, nie? Excuse me, Miss White, but. Perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better mm -hmm. hands, and I need the space to work. So don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be down in a moment. Just please give us the time. Hey, Doc. How much longer, Colin? Leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. 
Oh, really? Uh. Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having hmm. visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Hmm. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just mm. keep watch. I can still hear you. Anyways, guard against, as they say. <laughs> Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. <laughs> Swiney. Wyszedł takim pokrwawionym garniturze nieźle, nie? No. So, how do you um feel? Hmm. It's Bigby Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, hmm. I seen him take worse. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. See, strong as an oak, this guy. <laughs> I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know. No. When you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he <laughs> thought you were... I'm pretty hard to kill. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? <laughs> and who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Mm -hmm. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well... If those are my two options, <laughs> I don't think I'd pick this one. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm going to let Bloody Mary just murder. It was a split hmm. second decision, and I don't care how it looks. I'd make it Dobra. again and twice on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that uh, the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. Uh, what else could snow snow do? Do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still no would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is just what does Crane the crooked man to... want out of this? I Stop thought he was just a tickle. loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Mm -hmm. Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful mm. to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet. The and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Hmm. Lily? No, właśnie. On coś... Crane coś mówił, że te dziewczyny coś kombinowały. Jak wychodził z tego burdela, go zarastowaliśmy. Więc coś tam musiało być. Tak, 
But now I see this war has been going on for hmm. years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Yeah. Oh. Wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. Mm. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By oh. the book, oh, straight as an arrow. Pure is driven snow. <laughs> not saying I'm the arbiter of... Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. <laughs> we need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do yeah. what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah. No, nie zabiłem przecież tego Widdledama czy coś tam, nie? This is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Big B to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Big B. Don't be such a dick club. <laughs> Hold on. Who says I'm sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. Hmm. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just hmm. that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All uh -huh. unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. <laughs> Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for uh. a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? Hmm. I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the no, end no, of the no, world. Snow no, no, no. says that's the way it's gotta be. That's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a glamour. Get a glamour? With what money? You think I can work? I don't even have thumbs. <laughs> no, that's prawda. Kurde. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Uh -huh. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? Mm. That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. Hmm. What do you think that could be? Wow. Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. <laughs> I have the slightest. Okay. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long to be called. I should probably change out of these clothes. Tym czarem zasłaniała. No, 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 na pewno. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Narissa. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but no, I can no, still no, hear no. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just you know, the crane thing hit her hard and. She doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. <laughs> no, nie wiem, czy nie będziemy musieli go odesłać. Mam nadzieję, że nie. Albo po prostu go nie odeślemy i olejemy to, nie? I co nam zrobi? Złapie go za ogonek i sama zaciągnie? Może, cholera wie. Zobaczymy, co Nerisa chce, nasza mała syrenka. To tyle moi drodzy. Kolejny odcinek, znaczy kolejny to jest w sumie prolog. No zobaczymy, zobaczymy co nam przyniesie czwarty epizod. 
Myślę, że pozwolimy sobie jeszcze w tym odcinku na jeden zwrot akcji. Na kilkanaście minut dodatkowej przygody. No, ale się robi tutaj ciekawie, no. Śnieżka zaczęła się kurde trochę ostrożądzić. No i to tak właśnie zawsze jest. Teraz będzie robić wszystko zgodnie z przepisami. A jak wiadomo, przepisy są dobre, ale nie zawsze. No i to jest ten pewnie wywołuj wilka z lasu. No zobaczymy, co nam Syrenka powie. Hi, Hmm. I um are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be you know, around. Znowu tego fajki. Puffs. Not many people smoke those. Shoret, proszę bardzo. Thanks. So what was that back there with the crane? He wanted you to tell me something. You know, it's not too late to talk. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. Not just while you're at work, huh? Hmm. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Hmm. Back in the dressing room at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just go ahead. Hmm. It might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. <laughs> If I could answer you just like that, uh, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I I used to have friends mm -hmm. to help me find my way, but now they're gone. And I don't know what to do. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I hmm. I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. Hmm. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but 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 your lips are sealed. Yes, with a clenchy. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith war one mm -hmm. two. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? 
No! These flips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down! Oh, I'm right. not gonna do anything. Please, don't. Jak ją odwiążesz, to chyba główka odpada. Okay. Tak, mam wrażenie, że tak było właśnie. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Uh If anyone finds out I came here. Sure. That's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? Mm -hmm. I could be in a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Mm hmm. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty uh -huh. and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. <laughs> Trochę niezręcznie się zrobiło. That was abrupt. One way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off. Or... It's how Faith and Lily no. died. Dokładnie. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? Hmm. Nie powiedziałem. Well, I guess it's the best we've got. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial mm -hmm. assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? Mm -hmm. That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. No i dobrze, moi drodzy. And you didn't want to tell me what... To by było na tyle. Następnym razem porozmawiamy z piękną i z bestią, żeby dowiedzieć się coś więcej o tym całym garbusie i jego interesach. A na razie Wam dziękuję za wspólne oglądanie tego odcinka i zapraszam na następne. Hej, hej, trzymajcie się moi drodzy.